Watch out, boys. This is how it's done. Yeah. All right, here we go. Brand new CZ82 9 by 18 Makarov accuracy test. Motor up. Here we go. First shot. Seven yards, two hand. Dead center. All right, going to the head. Wow, I'd say this thing's a shooter. Going for center of mass. Let's aim for that A right there. Yep, let's aim for the A up on the top. Oh, let's go for the A again. Wow, I think this thing works. All right, I'm going to back off. This is 12 rounds. I'm going to back off to 10 yards, see what else it can do. I'm impressed. Polygonal rifling and all. Or what? Okay, this baby's a shooter, I think. Wow, dang. Serious shooting. All right, let's go down and look a little closer at those targets. Okay. First couple of shots there, I was holding at seven yards. Then I went back to 10 yards. And then I went back to about 15 yards. And same down here, when we got to 15 yards, 15 yards start getting us down in here and up in here a little bit. And 15 yards got us over here and down in here a little bit, but wow, dang, what do you think, Bryce? I think it does really well for, a, for an old Soviet era handgun. Oh yeah, an old uh, Czechoslovak military police shooting 9 by 18 it's a little beat up on the outside and and all that kind of thing but wow she's a shooter look at that this has got polygonal rifling in it too which is not your standard uh, here hold it up now by the hold it in front of the uh, right in front of the holes there now no, right in the middle yeah see you can see it's a little bit a little bit chipped up and, and rust, or not rusty, but a little bit chipped up since it's only got a painted finish. But wow, that thing can shoot. So, all right. So, we're going to go let Bryce have a run at it now. Maybe we should put up some of these shot shells and see if he can knock them off with that kind of accuracy. You should be able to. What do you think? Okay. All right, let's try some shot shells. Sure. All righty. All right. Oh, I haven't got my ear in. Hold on. Well, I hit the first one. All right. Stop filming me and film the targets. I'm filming from behind me. Did you hit something? 
Oh, wait. What'd you hit? Let's start over. Behind me, like Hickok does. Doesn't that make sense? Okay. Don't go so fast. It's a nicer trigger than I thought it was going to be. I guess only the 12 gauge likes me. The 20s are giving me a hard time, but... The 20 gauge shells? Yeah, the 12, I can see, or I can hit, so, hit. It shoots very well. I mean, I haven't shot on paper, so i got to see exactly where it's hiding in. Um, trigger's really nice. has a really nice reset. has a really short trigger. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's pretty accurate, huh? It's a nice shooter. This is the first time you've touched it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, typically, I like to run through these and do some accuracy with them first before I start trying to show off. But somebody insisted, so. Yeah, but but it shoots pretty darn good, and you got you got you knocked them all off. You got it every really one of well them. Shoots really well for a compact military pistol. It's, yeah, it's really accurate. Yeah, for military surplus. You know, it bites a little back here on my hand because I got fat webbing, but the beaver tail digs in a little bit, but you know, you're not going to be doing a whole lot of shooting with it. If you're shooting it as a concealed weapon, but mm -hmm. you know, it's a great gun. It was a good buy for 250 Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah, can't beat that. No, not at all. Alright, all right, well we'll do some more shooting here. Let's reset. Good. Okay, well Bryce is going to load up with some more of this uh, wolf. We've had this wolf laying around here so long that the cases were starting to rust. They are steel, after all. We had all this wolf laying around here because I used to have uh, access to an, uh, an old Russian Makarov, that, uh, or an East German Makarov, East German Makarov that was my brother's. and. Uh, He's out in Colorado, and dang, he wanted to have it back. Can you believe that? I had that gun about seven years. Kind of felt like, you know, it was attached to my gun cabinet, but... Selfish. I don't know. He decided he wanted it back, so anyway, I ended up with all this 9x18 ammo here, and now we finally got a 9x18 gun. We're going to shoot it, so... And anyway, the thing came with this holster. Not this one. That's mine. Came with this interesting holster. Um... You know, uh, not exactly quick draw, but uh, you could put an extra mag in there and some stuff. But uh, you know, there's the extra mag right there. Twelve round mags are pretty nice. But that's it. Bryce is going to load up, and then we'll let him take a few shots on the on the other target over there on the. All right, we're back, and Bryce, let me get around the other side. Bryce is going to sh show us his style again, his shooting style. Oh, it's nothing special. Are you ready? I'm ready. Did you hit anything? Yeah. His heart. The 
let's go down and look at the target here. No, let's just, I'm just going to zoom. Where were you? Sh oh, you're shooting to the head, I see. Center of mass. All right, you got to put some more on there. A little circle. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. That it? Yeah, it's a shooter. Anybody with a little bit of experience can shoot this gun extremely well. I mean, it'd be a great choice for a woman to use. In a purse, a lot, I mean, I think these are better and safer than the really small concealment pistols. Um, uh, this is about as small, really, as I'd like to go. I mean, I'll go single stack. You don't necessarily need a double, but the overall size, I mean, I wouldn't get much smaller. And it's easy to man manipulate the slide on these. And some of these small pistols, it's not easy to manipulate a slide which on this gun you are able to do. That slide's easy to move. So, the only downfall is it doesn't have that decocker on it, but as long as Well, you they just have to carry it cocked and locked. Well, or as long as you use your head. So, you just hold the hammer, let it down nice and easy. It's nothing to be scared of as long as you do it properly. Safety only works, it looks like, when it's cocked so yep but yep. if you like me I am very adamant about not having a safety on my carry weapon um, I'm also very adamant about not using a 1911 as a carry weapon but that's a whole different argument so something like this I think is perfect um, might be a little heavy a little bulky for some people uh, might it might be more of a winter carry than a summer carry but but it's definitely accurate, so. Yeah, but the, the weight of it absorbs the recoil, though. Sure, yeah. Makes it easier to shoot, makes it accurate. It's also got that polygonal rifling in it, so you don't see any lands and grooves, which is kind of weird, but it obviously shoots straight. Yeah, it shoots well. Yeah, so you're gonna shoot some more? Yeah, sure, let's try some double. really well and double. Yep. Shooting a double action now? Yeah. Very easy follow-up shots. It's all staying right there, right in his hairy chest spot. You got, no, you got you got no failures to feed. You got we got no failures at all, do we? Not yet. Yeah, does well. Good gun. Good shooter. Yeah, that dude's probably dead, huh? Yeah. I like that nine by eighteen. It's loud. Yeah, they've got good shots, good body shots. Yeah, so what do you think? Keeper? Oh, for sure. We keep it? Yeah. Double down, get two of them. Here, let's take a close, another close up on it. Yep, there it is. CZ 82. Now, they make an 83 that's a commercial gun that they make in. Uh, 32 ACP and 380, I think. So you can buy these commercially for a lot more money than 250 bucks, but you can buy them brand new. But they're in a 380 caliber or a 32 caliber. Uh, not these military surplus are 9 by 18, but you can buy these brand new. CZ still makes them for the civilian market. Uh, they they're just, just prettier. 
they're prettier, they cost more money obviously, and they're in a little smaller caliber, but they make a good, uh, they make a good gun, so, yeah, very sweet, very cool. All right, we call it? Yeah. All right, you got anything profound to say? Wow, you really caught me off guard. Nothing that's appropriate. Okay, just say see you later. Yeah, well. All right, well, we'll sign off with, uh, oh, I know, you called that guy a white snake roadie. All right? Is that it? Isn't that what you called him? Yeah, sure. All right, we'll sign off with Sweet him. Wallet. Say that. There goes the roadie. <laughs>